This video supported in part by... It's just a VR YouTube channel. A couple of weeks ago, right here on Gen X Grown Up, I highlighted how excited I was to find this used copy of Atari Rider, complete in its package to add to my collection. But what made it special was not that it was Atari Rider itself, it's what was included that gave it a life of its own and some provenance. It had these data cassettes and note cards that really created a snapshot in time from the era when the original owner used this program to write his own assignments and documents. Now, of course, I was curious what was on those data tapes, but I was not prepared with how curious our viewers would be with what was on those tapes. Several of you wrote in the comments saying that I wanna know what's on those tapes, and especially I wanna get that egg roll recipe that was listed on one of those little three by five cards. Well, I have the tapes, they need a little surgery, and it's my intent to do a little Atari archeology span here. I wanna get these decades old cassettes working again, get the data off of them if it's still there, and if possible, bring that data into Atari Rider via an emulator that I have and find out just what was written on this original Atari Rider all those many decades ago. My first hurdle here is the condition of the cassettes themselves. Though they've been protected in this box, the felt pad that holds the tape against the pinch roller in a cassette player are totally gone. So I've got to do something to fix that. Luckily, I have this box of new old stock cassettes that was donated to Gen X Grown Up many years ago that I finally have a use for. What I'm going to do here is extract the arm and the felt pad from this brand new tape and replace the one that is missing in the old cassette. After just a little bit of dismantling and cassette surgery, as far as I can tell, the tape looks as good as new. The next step is to use my digital conversion cassette deck that I've got because I can plug it right in USB and capture audio as if it were a microphone or any other digital source. So I'm gonna throw that cassette fresh from surgery into the cassette deck, plug it into my PC and fire up Audacity. And after just a couple of seconds, I'm almost giddy to see that the data is still there and it doesn't sound too terrible. There's a little bit of warbling, but it's not bad. Atari cassette audio data is not unlike an old modem. There's that constant underlying high-pitched bass band tone, but every now and then there's a chunk of data that you can see in these larger blocks. So I captured all the audio data from both the tapes and I chopped it up in little pieces, but here's where the rubber hits the road. I'm using an emulator here called Altera. Wonderfully, you can take a WAV file like the one I created in Audacity and load it directly into Altera as if it were listening to a cassette. Here's the part where I was really crossing my fingers hoping it would work and... Boom, it did. The original document is here. The first couple of files I looked at appeared to be English assignments. There was alcohol during the war and there was the Willowdale incident of which there were two different revisions. Intriguing to see these documents written nearly 40 years ago, but the greatest piece of data in these that I found was the name of the original owner, David Shackelford. If you are David or know him, please let him know that I have his copy of Atari Writer in case he would like a copy of his old documents from English assignments past. Another document appeared to be a French assignment. It's a list of new words in French and their translations, probably also some homework that David did. I was really curious to see that chain letter that was mentioned on the three x five card. And it is just as advertised. It's an explanation of all the riches you will get if you follow through with this chain letter and send a dollar and get your name added to the top of a list or bottom of a list or however chain letters worked before we all started getting email spam soliciting our dollars in the mail. But the number one thing that I think most people wanted to see for some reason, and I guess I understand because I also did, was that egg roll recipe. And yes, I was able to save the egg roll recipe. In fact, listen, if this video happens to get 500 likes, I'm going to make a video where I test out making those egg rolls and I'll put an unlisted video link right here in the corner. If it's not here yet, that means not enough likes. So I guess you better start sharing this video out to people so we'll get enough likes and put me to work in the kitchen. Before I wrap up this archaeology experiment, there were two more things that I wanted to do. The first was to preserve these documents, so I exported them as clean audio files straight out of Atari Writer. 
If you look at these two waveforms side by side, you can see the nice clean solid one compared to the one that came in from the cassette. This way, even if the tapes degrade, I have a permanent copy of the data that was on that tape. And finally, I wanted to export these documents. Now, while I didn't have a printer attached to my emulator, I was able to capture the printer output, so I did that very thing. I printed out all the documents, captured the data, saved it to a text file, and if you would like them, I will put a link in the description of this video. So now you are welcome to download and read, or even listen if you want to hear all the squealing noises, all of the data that I was able to salvage off of these vintage 1983-era Atari Rider data cassette. And speaking of rescuing things from the trash, that's very literally what happened in Alamogordo, New Mexico. Check out this video I did about obtaining a piece of history, an original ET cartridge buried by Atari in a dump in the early 80s. Hey, I really hope you found something to enjoy in this video too, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>